FNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. Tuesday the 15th of February, a really good both relief rally, bounce off the 200 period exponential moving average. A lot of things going on here that says the Dow at up 4450 is at 35,016, close to the high of the day, just about to start testing the resistance level between here and 35, uh, 35,030. We'll see how it can do over the period of the day. You don't want to see this fade with fear of the Fed coming in tomorrow. Preferably the indexes close near their high because if they do that, it gives them a bit of a cushion. S&P up 63 at 4465. Really important. It's struggling actually. It's not even able to close above the nine period moving average. Needs a lot more, but it's used to 200 period moving average as a springboard. Good. We've got QQQ. A uh, very strong resistance coming up in the 356.90 area. It's a 354.12. It's up 663. It's trying to rebound, but it's really struggling and needs much more. IWM, the Russell 2000, same thing, up 3.57, 204.19 right now. It really needs to get to the 207s. Uh, and quite soon. Now, this is a big thing. Gold, a relief, a relief rally, uh, sorry, in the opposite direction. So it's a relief pullback because there was a big, this is the fear factor that ran up. I wanted to mention in my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour a few moments ago, that the GDX, the reason why I call this the fear factor, is that the GDX, the gold miners, didn't move in the same way. So, the, so gold was really leading. That was my point. Not that there isn't a trade or anything in the GDX, the gold miners. It's just that gold went up because of the fear factor. Now it's pulling back. How does it hold the 1830s? That's going to be the question. Here's the big thing. Look at crude oil. Talk about a pullback down almost 5%, down 463 at 90.84. But it needs to start closing on a on a two, three day basis below 87. And then you can say, aha, now crude oil is going to take a rest. The weekly chart can pull back, but that still looks strong. And we're looking at the TLT. This is my big concern here. TLT made a lower low today. Uh, and that's not good. Uh, I mean, this is not good. That means yields are going higher. So this is a very important moment for the TBT, the inverse, to start to uh, pull back, show that, oops, no, it hasn't made a new recovery high. 1998 was a high two days ago. Uh, 19, yeah, 19, and today's high is 1995. You want to see these little double tops turn around so that yields start to pull back as the bonds start to rally. We haven't seen that. So have a wonderful day. I'll be back with Tom a little later on for an interview. But in the meantime, stay tuned. You've got Larry Quiz event, a great program. Don't forget, we start at 9 o'clock with Tommy O'Brien Jr. Market kickoff. Have a great day. See you later on. I'll see you tomorrow.